So, I've been trying to figure out how to wire this. And so what I've decided on, for now, until I can figure a, like a way better way out, is... Um, so basically what I wanted to do is for there to be a switch here that would um, select only bass or guitar and then what it would do it, I don't know if this is possible is all of the controls here would work for the guitar and then they would work for the bass like book right I don't know no, I see, and that's not a good idea either because these, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but these should be using different kinds of pots than these. Did I even get two different kinds? 500, 500, 500. Yeah, so they're all the same pots. So, it doesn't really matter. It could work. Um, but basically, yeah, that's what I wanted. So, bass side, you flick it to bass, all the controls, you get a volume and tone for each pickup, and then there'd be like a pickup selector switch that works with bass. And then, um, you switch it to guitar, and then all the controls work for guitar, and the bass turns off. So that's a tricky one, but what I'm going to do instead, and what this is wired up to do, um, well, what this is, what this wants me to do is to have both of them on at the same time, and I guess you just turn the volume off for whatever one you, you, you're not using, or you can use both of them at the same time if you have both the volumes on. But that kind of doesn't work because you shouldn't really plug a bass into a guitar amp and you shouldn't really plug a guitar into a bass amp. You, you can, but it kind of messes up everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill an extra hole for a second output. So side output here is going to be guitar. New hole right here is going to be for bass out so then you can't like if you're gonna play bass you gotta be plugged into this and if you're pl gonna play guitar so if you want both then it's gonna be uh, two amps so that's that's what's gonna happen and then if I wanna switch mid song with one amp then I can't, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, um, what I could do, oh, and then what, when, when I improve it, it is when I'll take, I'll take this, I'll put a switch, so the side output becomes both if I want it to, which would be cool. Um, and maybe I can put, uh, I don't know, I can, uh, basically if I put, if I put this, uh, if I put an output here and I don't like it, I can always just put a switch in that does stuff, that switches from that to that, right? From bass to guitar. And then you'll have a pickup selector for your bass, pickup selector for your guitar, and then volume and tone for guitar, volume and tone for bass. And that would work too. That would be good. Um, because um, I can't, I don't have a third switch right now it'd be cool if I did 
It'd be a lot better if I did. I might get one. Um, I might get one. Because if I had a third three-way selector switch, then I can do just one output. But I kind of want to do two outputs. So this is my dilemma. Double necks are the confusing instrument. But there's, there's tons of room in here to put fun stuff, right? And they only gave me tiny shitty little knobs. And I'm, I don't really care about like high quality knobs or anything. Like it's all, I, li I just leave everything on uh, 10 anyways. But it's good to have tone controls sometimes. Um, and it's good to have volume, of course. Um, to, to, so what you, the reason why you have volume is when you play a gig and you set all your levels, right, and the sound guy sets all your levels and you're a bass player, he doesn't turn you loud enough. So you put your volume at like six and then one song in, you know you're not loud enough, you just crank it to ten and usually he, the sound guy doesn't notice. So that's the whole reason to have a volume knob. Um, not to turn down, but to turn down and then turn up on your, uh, on your settings or on your amp or whatever, and then turn up on your bass when everything is drowning you out. <laughs> so that's, that's the whole reason to have a volume knob. It's a boost. You leave it at six, and then you boost it when you when you inevitably need it, because no one wants to hear the bass, even if you're playing bass-oriented music. Uh, like, who would need a guitar with a bass on it other than someone who likes bass? So, and I'm freezing. It's cold in my apartment. Um, and uh, I don't know what to do next. I have all these wires sticking out of this cavity, and I'm just waiting to, uh, to solder them. I just have to solder them, and I'm just loafing, because I have to make them longer. Because, so I drilled it from here to here. I didn't drill it from there to there, because I didn't think I could make it. Even though it's, I probably could have, but now I've got to go like from the the here. It's got to go all the way here, and then it's got to go all the way in here, and then all the way to here, and then all the way back. So it's kind of a pain. It's a big pain. So that's yeah, that's that. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be. Fun. Okay, so welcome to uh, my extreme soldering iron, extreme solder hour. Where's my solder? There it is. So, you gotta smell it to see if it's hot enough. I don't have a little wipey thing to clean my soldering gun, iron, whatever. So I'm using a wet napkin. I don't have uh, wire strippers, so I'm using scissors. That's a short one. I want the longest one first. It's another shorty. And that's kind of long. So that's those two are the short ones. Um, so basically, what you do when you don't have wire strippers is just very, very carefully cut around and make sure that you didn't mess everything up. Then 
you're good. Um, so we're, we have this horrible copper, which I hate, and it's sticking out there, so I'm going to just strip off a little bit more with my scissors. Look at that. That was pretty good. Um, and do a nice little twist together. So I'm not, I, I didn't really uh, understand how to solder for a very long time and I still don't uh, do a very good job, but I do it very often. So I do a better job than most people. Um, my dad never showed me this. Some other English guy did and he didn't do a good enough job. So I uh, I always hope for the best. I'm not hot enough yet. Oh, I kind of am. Getting there. I'm not hot enough. It smells hot. One thing I do remember is that if you smell it, that's how you know if it's hot. But you don't burn, don't burn your nose though, because you, that hurts. Also, everyone would be cringing to know that I don't have any protector against the guitar from the bloopy solder. But it'll be all good. Okay, cool. So, it's melting a little bit, slowly. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So now I just do boop it in there. And hopefully it sticks to the wires sometime soon. It's starting to. It's very, very crap though. Because I'm very not good at this. But I'm pretty good. Okay, so we have some bloop on there. I don't have any little... What they call ha helping hands. Which is like a little, tiny, little... They're little clampy things that help help you hold wires together. I don't have that. So I just have to make do with hurting my own fingers and and all that. This thing is very, very not good. Melt, come on, you can do it. Let's try and warm it up with some other solder first. Am I plugged in still? Yeah, I am. Okay. Just touching it to the thing. Barely does anything. I'm gonna have a very, very horrible time with this. I'm risking it. Well, yeah, see, I made a little ding on my guitar because I'm an idiot.
Hopefully the other ones go as smooth as this one. You know, it's kind of done. It's kind of good. Well, that's not good either. Come on, don't do that. Don't pull this shit. Don't do that shit. Fucking scary, scary ass Bernie, my house down business. It's not coming undone. Fuck it. It's good enough. It's good enough. So then what we do is we take a little piece of tape. I don't have electric tape, but this is basically electric tape. It's like garbage, New Zealand. Like I've never seen this shit before. Duct tape, that's not good. Canadians know what good duct tape is. And yeah, so boom. That's one done. And that is, uh, I'm going to write on a little thing, neck, uh, ground. NG. So that's going to be my little label because I need a little label. I'll put it right on the end. Uh, it might be a pain to get it through places, but I need it because all the wires are all orange. Um, so then the next one is going to be the neck hot because it's white and green is ground. So I'm guessing that white is hot. Um, that's usually the way it goes. Let's, let's do this. Let's do some more strippy. For the love of God, I hope that this is good enough. Good. Strippy strip. Um, then we do a little bit of splice and dice. You just twist them together like a rookie. There's like some insane correct ways of doing this, but I don't know any of them. Then you take your soldering iron that doesn't work very well, touch it to the thing. Let's touch it to the, that first. Come on. Okay. It's not doing anything. It could be because I don't have proper cleaning tool. And it could be working right as I say that. Come on, yeah, look. Soak it. There, I soaked it. Now stay, you scary, scary device. There, there's a little big, big old gloop of T1000. 
on that and that looks pretty good to me it's not trying to kill me so I'm gonna put in put it in its grave reps debts reps debts I think I did a better job with that one. I think that was a better job. Okay, so now we want um, a label saying N um, NH. So I got my little label that says NH. What's going on there? Real good. Sweet. So now we have Das Next pickups put to good use. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, and then we feed these two through to the little cavity for now and so that they're out of the way and if any other guitar tech has a, has a look at all the orange shit in here they would be like <sighs> I could I could feed these other ones through and do it on the other end, but there's not enough space back there. So I'm going to have to strip them right here and do the same thing. Now I know from memory that this is the bridge. So Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at all that copper under there. So, you don't want copper. I already said this before, but you don't want copper wire in your guitar. And I don't know if they know at the factory, but it's a big no-no. Copper is shit. It's good in your, like, it's a great conductor, but it's like, not when you're dealing with electromagnets. Um, and you don't want any electromagnetic interference uh, because it's it does that shit and you don't want that but I don't want to fix that right now I don't want to redo that I don't want to redo the uh, wiring to the pickups like I figured it would be a good idea to do it at, and like have a little stub so that it oh, I keep no oh, it's good enough whatever so that it uh was m like not a shitload of copper but not right now I don't know if what I'm saying is going to make sense in the end because I'm thinking as I'm talking and that's always a bad idea let's give this a little clean off because it's been sitting around doing nothing being scary I still have tons of solder in this little thing I'll never run out of solder. Still have shaky hands even though I quit coffee. Come on, let's, let's, let's get real here. Let's get, get down to business.
You can do it. You can do it. Look at that. See, it's it's I'm getting better. You just got to believe in yourself. And remember what electricians from California tell you. Because that's who really taught me how to solder. Um, it's a guy on the internet. I asked him, what am I doing wrong? And he was like, everything. So I was like, tell me what to do. And he was like, you gotta make sure to put the hot iron on the thing you're soldering and not the solder only. And I was like, that's what I'm doing. And he's like, clearly not. I was like, all right. And it works. And I still kind of just do what I've been doing. But because he told me I was doing it wrong, now it starts to work. Because solder is like that. It just wants to mess you all up. So this was um, bridge uh, hot, hot, hot bridge. This is like the ultimate um, video, probably. Like, this is going to be entertainment like crazy. So, hope, like, I'm hoping, like, if you can see that. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm hoping that it goes all the way through with that much wire, all the way up and around the bend and, and shit. Um, now let's just feed it through and get it out of the way for now. We've got one more to go. Then it's install the last guitar pickup time. This is like, I didn't realize that having a double neck would mean double the amount of work to do. But I guess like that's pretty silly of me to not to realize that. Alright, I'm shoving it through. It's going through. Oh, there's so many wires in the hole that there could be screws going into. And I don't like that. Like, because they screwed it all up. <laughs> no, they didn't screw it. And now, because they didn't screw it, it's going to screw me all up. And I hope that's good too. This is a... I have a dilemma. And I hope it'll be fine. I hope when I put the pickup in, it doesn't just completely ruin all the wiring. Because it might. Okay, last one. I always feel weird talking to myself, like a lot, in a video, doing a video. I haven't done videos in a long time, like real ones where I'm trying to do things in it. So, that smells good actually, that smells like fried stuff. Look at that. Oh my god, I am just 10 out of 10 god tier solderer. 
Salter Brewer. I am on fire. No, I'm not. Oh, come, come back. Okay. Here looks its dad's. Wow. Get it all glooped. This is a weird solder job on the. Actually, yeah, I'm not as good as I said I was just five seconds ago. It's all. It's being a little bit weird. Ooh. That might I add structural support. Might be bad. I don't have a voltmeter to test if I have connection though. So I just melted the two wires together on the end. It's it's really cool. Let's see if I can No, I don't want to I don't want to mess up the camera that I got. Actually, screw it. This is the end of the video basically, so Let's see what I can film here. So, that got melted together. Pretty neat, eh? Alright, let's see if I can mess up the whole angle. Oh, look. Hey, look, I'm back. Uh, yeah, that's, that's alright. So, let's continue. Um, Almost done. We just need another <coughs> um, delicious piece of tape. A couple more t pieces of tape to seal this from the outside world. <laughs> um, and it will be done. It will be done. It will be done. I just wish I had got different colors of wire. I wish I had spent the money and got the little stupid variety pack that was totally not worth it, but because it was like 10 meters for like six dollars and then the pack that I got was like three dollars for 60 meters or some shit like that oh I don't know why I stripped that already oh whatever it's, it's all good so that was the, the the ground from the bridge so we put on the nice little flag and we roll it up a little bit shove it on down there shove it on down the hole shove it on in that that, that hole will it go? probably not, let's see yeah, it's po it's po it was poking out a little bit. Oh, it's like a spider web of wires coming out the bottom. The nightmare is going to be if this pickup doesn't go in. Um, so, pause for that, and I'll go see if I can get the pickup and put it in. And if not, sh All right. I am back. So, uh, this chair is slowly deflating. We got some inflatable chairs, and they're def deflating slowly. So, that's the that's a real shame. Um. So this there's a hole. I don't know if I I keep explaining this. There's a hole right here. All the wires from all the pickups are running through it, and this screw hole is right over top of that and so if I drill a screw into that 
everything is going to be terrible, right? Um, if I drill a screw into there and it doesn't hit anything, miracle, miraculous, perfect measurement, like exact, like extreme Lou 3 from the manufacturing um, perspective. But I, judging by everything that's happened on this kit, that's probably not the case. Um, one good news thing is... Good, one's good news thing is that this thing is probably not going to be in the way. All of the wires are probably not going to be in the way of the pickup. Hopefully. Oh, it's the thing that happened before. This is some bulls. This am some bulls. Okay, we're good. Yeah, the problem is, is that, like, that screw is just too long by just a hair this time, and that just sucks ass. That sucks ass. I'm gonna just, like, shove my scissors in there and scrape around because I see some stuff that could come off and maybe it would help it. Um, I could just leave it for now because it's pretty much like it's only out by like half half a millimeter. <laughs> half a, a a, a dillimeter. Half a lilliliter. Half a cillimeter. It's only off by like half a cillimeter. Um, and I was worried about putting the bridge on and making sure that this pickups are in a good place and they're nice and centered. But that's not going to fucking happen. Um, well, this way out. I'm looking at it here and it's like way the hell out. Oh. It'll just be a repair that'll be have to be done when I, in a year when I go home and have tools. Cause I am not home. I am far away in the land of the Kiwi bird. Um, uh, so yeah, when I have all my proper good tools for doing this kind of stuff, then I can fix all this stuff. And I have like a, a army of guitars at home that need fixing too. I just didn't fix them when I was there anyways. Um, but I made progress today. So I'm going to put the screws in. And I'm going to... Um, maybe... I'm going to do some things. Maybe I'll make the screw really, really short. <coughs> so that it um, doesn't wreck anything and I'm gonna set the bit when I drill I'm gonna set it so that it doesn't go past 
the hole. Well, it will. It just break through the hole. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't go past the hole, the barrier of the hole, and mess up all the wires that I just sent through there. But I needed to send all those wires through because I'm lazy and I didn't want to drill the holes and like put the pickup in and then take it out and I don't know, I, there's a stupid reason for anything that I do. Um, so yeah, so things got weird. Um, if you look, I don't know how well that shows up, but these pickups are all dickered. They all look, they're all in out of place places. But that was not me. Well, it kind of was. It was mostly the fault of the routing that the company has done. So, yeah. So when I get back to Canada, I'm going to have to go in with some with a router or like chisels or something like that and uh, 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 fix it all up and redo the pickup placement. I'll probably get different pickup rings because these ones are like rubber almost. Um, but it will still perform and it'll still be fine. I know from experience because I have a guitar that is completely messed up like in, in that res respect. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't look too out of whack from far away, um, and I think the actual, like the first, like the neck pickup is going to be fine. Um, but yeah, so now we're into the cavity. Um, and so that's what's next. So I'm just thinking about what I want to do next. Well, first of all, a quick little thing that I should do is... Um, Taketh these uh, these are the base pickups. Um, see now I did a silly thing. I didn't need this much wire. Um, I didn't need this much wire, but I did need it here. So, yeah, that's one thing that I did kind of silly. Um, so that needs to shoot all the way up through that hole and come out here. And that's like just enough to work with. So I lucked out on that. I don't have to redo that. This is like way too much wire that for me. Like the, way too much, um, and same with this one. But that's what happens. So these are the two grounds. So you, you want to put the hots to your selecty switch, selector switch. So those are the hots going in. And that one has a little bit more room, not room, but a little bit more length to it, which is kind of good. So that's that. Those are in there. Um, these are here. So guitar will be put to here. So I don't need any length on that. This is kind of good that I have all this extra length on these things. Like, it's kind of good. Like, I can reuse the wire at least. Um, so, right now I need to make... put in some switches and... Uh, 
do some more soldering. So I was going to put some switches in. Um, and then solder it all up, but I'm going to do it this way because it's going to be easier for me to do it this way. So I'm going to solder the switch and then put it in. Um, So, that's what's going to happen. So here's how to go to components. Um, I know this is, it works pretty well. So I, right now I have neck hot, right? So you have the two hots to your switchy mix switch there. And I'm not, I can't remember, but you might need to ground the switch, but I can't remember. So what I just did was I put some solder on the doohickey and on the end of the wire, and that's called tinning. And so what that does is, I uh, God knows what, but now it will go very nicely. I said very nicely, not terribly, onto your component. Oh, look at oh, look at that factory. Factory perfect. Ten out of ten. Like legit this time. Not no fucking around. I did a real good job. Um let's just see if I can bend that thing away from the other thing. A wee bit. No. We don't do that. We guess it's a little cut. Yeah, that's better. Because a little bit of wire was sticking out, and um, that sucks for uh, connectivity. Connectivity. Um, so now because I did such a damn awesome job I I'm gonna use less of a strip like strip away less wire because it's sticking way the hell out like there's metal way the hell out flailing around not being covered up by orange and this, while well, that's okay, it could short with something else. So you don't want that to happen. So look at that. Tin, tinny McTin tin. Smells like a burning church. Um, so let's attack it from here. See if it will actually do it. Oh, look at that. It's doing it. Oh, yeah, that's juicy. Factory. Factory. Ah, uh, not factory. Pretty much, pretty close to factory. So, what, what we just did was we made a switch That will see now that was 
Now my flags are getting in the way. I don't want that. I'm going to roll them up. See, the flag thing is a bad idea. What you need is very, like, lots of different colored um, Sharpies, and I don't have that. I used to. Um, so, what we have is the neck is towards this way, the bridge is towards this way. So we want the switch to say neck that way, bridge that way, right? So, um, the way that it the way that this switch goes disconnects whatever it is. So if it goes there, th that means bridge is disconnected, so that's good. And when it goes there, that means that neck is disconnected, which makes bridge connected, so that's good. So we want it to face, um, I don't know, this way. If you can see that, basically, the prongs are this way, the one prong for the ground connection is this way, if you do need to connect it to ground. Um, before I put it in, I need to put a middle wire. Um, so, I could very well use that, but I'm not going to. I'll be right back, I'm going to grab some extra wire so we need about that so we cut a little bit extra always got to do a little bit extra when you're an amateur But I'm pretty good. I'm not an amateur. I'm uh, maybe uh, no, I'm an amateur, but I'm a pro amateur. Param I'm a parameter. Um, and again, can you even see me? Yeah, yeah. There you go. And again, I'm using orange because I only got orange. I should right on it I should put a little flag on it I'll, I'll put a flag on it eventually so now what we want to do is use what we have as a nice little support tin the wire all oh, factory Factory. I keep saying factory because that's what you say. That's what, what it means when it's from the factory. Okay, come on, you sons. Come on, you sons. Uh. Oh, no, wasn't good enough. Good. That one wasn't factory, but... It was like... Semi-decent. So now we have a hot from the base that has switchable switches that can switch whatever you want. Neck, bridge, 
that's it. And so now we are going to shindle bingle ding this flop a doop -a floop a doop. No, you know what? I gotta put a bridge wire in. Because then I can close that little area off. So that's gonna run like that. And that is gonna need a little flag. I have to put a little flag on the other one so I don't get confused. And that's what you do when. That's what you do when you only have orange. So. Um, base, bridge, ground, um, and the other one is base, pickups, hot. So that's the hi. I hope this all this ink doesn't just smudge off. Oh, okay, let's do that. So, what we need to do is be very, very careful about this. Now let's take this out. And just let it chill. Just gonna chill. In. Uh, let's see if I can get this on camera better. So in here, on this, right about here, there's a little hole that will sit, that it is right where the bridge will be for the bass. And If they, if it lines up where I have to screw into it, it should be fine, but, oh, that would be such a terrible break. I just hope that it, the screw holes don't line up exactly with where this is, because that would be utter, utter nightmare territory. So, and then you feed it through. We gonna feed it through to the other side. Um, before I go all the way, I'm just gonna tape down it on the body here so it doesn't fall out. Okay, so before I pull it tight now, before I pull it joint, I'm going to install, unstall the swage. Everything looks good-ish. And that's all you can ask for. So then you get your little washer, you hold the back of it, the switch in the cavity, stick your washer on. And it's on. Now is it on very good? No. But it's on enough for me. Oh, what I can do. Okay, so the, f the magic is here, is because this is the ground, 
wire. Um, and this switch might need to be grounded. I don't know. I've done it before where you don't ground it. And I think it's been fine. Um, we'll have to test it. I'm not... I'm out of practice. Um, usually you have to ground all the components, but I, it might do some ter terrible shit if I do that. Um, so let's just leave it not. But there is a nice little chunk of wire that goes directly to the ground, the bridge ground, and it's going to go right to the ground. So it's going to be real, real easy to connect it to ground if I want to. Like, I won't even have to take the switch out. I can just, like, shove my little soldering thing right in there. And it'll be sweet. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. And this part is more or less ready for sealing off from the outside world. Which is something else you can do with guitars, but it I'm not doing that because that would be insane amounts of work too. And I just want to get this thing going. So we are not shielding the entire guitar. I'm just using needle nose pliers to tighten that switch. And I don't know what they do at the factory for this to make it not completely stripped to hell. But that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to tug anymore on that. I've been I was tugging it, but I don't want to tug it. I don't want to tug it. So we have a switch. And I got to say um good on them. It's a little bit jiggly, but it's not a bad switch. It's like one of the good kind. So that's one good thing about this kit. The other good thing about this kit is that it's a freaking double neck. That's about it. I bet it'll be fine when I complete it. Um, so this is that. The base bridge ground. Not to be confused with base pickup hot or neck ground or bridge ground. See? That would get confusing. So yeah, so now we have um, everything uh, centralized into itself we're almost we're almost on the way home um, so yeah so let's see um, I could do some more electronics or I could do some more soldering that's the same thing. Um, or I could put on the guitar neck. 
there's not really any point of that because then I'll have to take it off to do more soldering. So I might as well just keep on soldering. Just keep on soldering. So yeah, let's keep on soldering. Um, so I've got this nice towel here to make sure that everything is nice and uh, comfy. Um, it's gonna need. We're, I'm gonna need to drill some holes. I'm gonna drill some holes first. That's what I'm gonna do. Right. I'm back. I'm back at it. So, what needed to be done is that thing that I said that didn't need to be done. Apparently it needs to be done. So, we are going to ground the switch. Um, first things, first things first. Just gonna quickly take these off, pop that out, um, take this out a little bit, so I have enough to work with. That seems a, like a good enough amount to work with. I take out my scissor, cut. I should get good with. I should get good at this with my teeth. That, that's what the the optimal solution would be. Would be to use my teeth really well at this. But oh well, not using my teeth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sp splice and dice these two mothers together into one nice juicy sausage. Now I'm going to wrap my juicy sausage with solder. Am I going to get factory? Am I going to get factory? I almost got factory on that one, but that's not where the factory is at. Where the factory is happening is right in here. Don't want to burn the wood. I don't know if this has a loop that I can go through. Oh, it does. It's just being a real annoying, horrible thing. I don't want it to be, but it's doing that. Oh, you are hard. Ouch. The problem is, is I, you get some pressure on it, then she just slip it away. Well, it's stuck, ooh, that was hot. It's stuck there.
Although it's far from, far from, f far, <laughs> far from factory there. She is far from factory. And we want factory. Semi factory. So we are going to try again. Oh, that's a, quite the burn I got. Oh, there we go. No, that's that's shit. Maybe if I can slim this down a bit, she'll boop right in there. Although it's a little bit wrangly. If I can get that to stay, that would be marvelous. You sons a bitch. You, s you bend in there, you stay. You bendy, you fucking gonna stay in there, mate. Okay, just slop, just slop on in there. No, it came out. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna burn the shit out of my fingers. Hold oh, that accidental factory. That's, that's dead nuts. Dead nuts. No, that's not dead nuts. That's kind of shit, but that's uh, acceptable for, for what I want. Will that pull out a little bit more? Yes, that is good. Now, that will go to that, which is where it needs to go. And that will squish down there and not come undone. Things are happening for me. Good things? Maybe. Things nonetheless. I'll put this cover back on because I have faith 
that it will not be needed to be its wills not needing to be wills not to be opened soon or later ever again okay so now what what we're going to do is f get this swage um I learned that the green on this is copper, so that sucks. I'm just looking around on this thing because it's kind of neat. I think it's wired correctly. Um, first thing to do, I guess, would be to get this stupid thing to be not so stupid. And connect itself. That is such a bad, that's not, fa it's not even factory out of the factory. Um, what can I use to hold this in place? That's a good little thing. We're just gonna goop some more solder up in this. I don't even know if that's connected. Now it's connected. Probably. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. Good. It smells like bacon. Plastic bacon. The, the napkin is the one that smells good. I don't know why. The napkin smells good when it burns. So that's very nice. Um, see, so half of this wire that they gave me is steel, and half of it is copper, and it's like are you... I don't know. Just give me all the steel. Is steel more expensive than copper? I don't know. Oh, that was cool. Okay, risky move here. Are you ready? risky stuff. I want to connect this wire to this little section. And that's it, kind of. Just when the wire flexes, it gets it all out of fuck. And I don't like that. Now we need to redo that. Because this thing is like a tower of asshole. So the memory card on the other camera got full right when I was about to say something. So um, I'm going to keep on soldering. And uh, we'll see what happens when I'm done. <laughs>